Hello, Virgos. Last reading I did, I was getting that there's an annoying ex that keeps popping up in your readings. And you it's something that you need to focus on and clear up so that they don't come through in your readings anymore. Now let's see what the cards want to say today. So this could be an ex, this could be a new person, whatever the cards want to say. Also, if your name is John or if your name starts with a J and you're currently going through a psychic awakening... Um, your spirit guides came through and they do have a message for you. So just message me for that. I'll give you a free mini reading. I don't usually do free readings, but when spirit guides come through like that, you know, I have to give the, get the message out there. So if that's you currently going through a psychic awakening, you don't really have people around you that you can talk to about it. You don't understand what's happening. Just send me a message. Okay. Oop. That one fell on the floor. So... I guess that one does not want to be picked up. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious what that one was now. What was that one that did not want to be picked up? Um, there's someone new coming into your life. Oh my God. So someone does not want you to know that there's someone new coming into your life. You have an ex. It's like, no, there's not. It's like, no, there actually is someone new coming into your life. They're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I want to be open and honest and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I regret letting you know I should never should have left. You come off uninterested and detached. See, I think you're over this person. Yeah, there's someone new coming in. And now this person that kind of messed up is wanting to be romantic and emotional. They're wanting to show you that side of themselves that song um iris by the goo goo dolls is coming to mind like they want to show you all the, that side of themselves that they hid from you they want to be that you know they want to be open with you now but i feel like they messed up because there's something here that you they feel like that you're not going to forgive them like they cheated or they uh ghosted you or they just did something to really hurt you and they're kind of um or they, or they left, you know, possibly for some of them, what they did to hurt you was they left when they should have been fighting for you. And they regret that now. But I feel like you're over it. I feel like it's like too little too late. You know what I mean? Um, and if you haven't done so already, you do need to clear this person out of your energy field. You do need to cut this cord. Because um, we have, you know, cords telepathically that connect us to people that we've, you know, soulmates and people that we've really connected with. So you want to make sure this person doesn't keep coming into your energy field and vice versa. So I would really look at um, cutting this out if this is not something that you want anymore. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. I'm afraid you moved on by now. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that you're pretty much done with. And at, at the time, I think you were thinking about marrying them or you, you were fantasizing about marrying them or what it would be like to be with them forever. But I just feel like they messed up too much feel like whatever they did was just too much of a betrayal and like you know that you can't really go back um but they've daydreamed lately about what it'd be like to be married to you um but i feel like a lot of time has gone by and so you know you've moved on by now i think that you're i think you're over this but i think that you are annoyed by this person's energy like you're like why does the ex keep coming through my readings and it's you know, if this if that's your story, then go and check my Virgo reading that I did a couple weeks ago where the title says your annoying ex is going to keep popping up in all your readings until you clear this up. So this is someone where it's like you you really need to clear this energy out if you haven't done so already. And this is just some of you have, but this is just for those of you that haven't, you know what I mean? Because you guys are all I mean, it's the same energy group of Virgos that I read, but like you guys are all in different stages in this journey you know what I mean even though it's the same story ultimately but um but yeah it's like you you might want to cut do the cut and clear ritual or you might want to really look at you know just clearing this out because this person you've let go of this person but this person's still holding on to you is the thing they're still trying to manifest you back and they're putting a lot of intention into manifesting you back some of them are doing magic on you some of them do witchcraft or they do um like a vision board or meditation or something. Um, I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. My life is busy, chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. I feel like you guys haven't talked for a long time. Maybe you have them blocked or they have you blocked. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since you guys have communicated. 
But like I said, I feel like you're over this. So it's just kind of saying like this person's going to keep coming up until you, you know, look at this and release it. Cause I know that you're over them. I think that when you get, when you hear these readings, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm over the person. Like, I don't want them in my, like I'm done with them. But the thing is they're not done. That's why they're putting so much energy into this. So you need to, I know you don't want to deal with it anymore and you're sick of this person, but like you do need to, you can't just sweep it under the rug. You know what I mean? Like you do need to do the cut and clear work to, so that they can't keep coming into your energy field. Um, I feel like you're just kind of focusing on the physical when you need to kind of look at what's going on spiritually. Like, yeah, like your life has moved on, like you're good, but you, you need to protect yourself kind of is what I'm getting here. Um, you need to, to cut the cord and like shield yourself. And it can just be like a simple, like five, 10 minute visualization when you, you know, you know, daily where you just kind of imagine yourself in this bubble of light. Imagine that if they try to come through that, it just bounces off that bubble and it just goes right back to them. Like they can't, like, there's just like a wall, like that you're just protected by your angels, your gods and goddesses, you know, they just can't come through. And, you know, pray to pray to the beings that you pray to your gods, your goddesses, your angels, your whatever beings you work with, pray to them and ask for protection, ask for this energy to be cleared up and maybe look into doing a cut and clear ritual. Um, cause it's coming up again. So there's, and I'm sorry if you just saw my, if you saw my last video and you're like, Oh my gosh, I did it already. Like I did the ritual. Like I'm good. This is just for people that maybe have not caught up to this, this yet. You know, like, like I said, the energy, it's the same energy here, but some are like a little bit further behind. So I want to make sure everyone's caught up and you guys have cleared this energy out because this person's going to keep trying to manifest you back. They might go away for a few months, but then they're going to pop back up especially because they're lonely and bored and they're narcissistic and they miss being able to mess with you. So you really do need to, to cut this out, cut this cord. You do need to shield and protect yourself and maybe do uncrossing cleansing work um, and do like, you know, like saging or cleansing your apartment or house regularly too. you know, like you need to, you need, you need stronger defenses. I feel like you're more open to like, like, on a psychic level, you're more open to this person than you realize. And you kind of need to, it doesn't mean that you have to shut everybody out, but it just means like you need to be mindful of this. And, um, you know, you need to ground more because I feel like you're kind of maybe like you're busy a lot, like you have a busy schedule, um, or you're just not, maybe like you're depressed and you don't have a lot of energy, but it's like you, you need, you're in a vulnerable state and it's kind of saying like you do need to like go out and like, you know, just be barefoot and just walk in the woods and, and or on the beach and just ground yourself, um, you know, connect with nature. Do I feel like this is like someone that's like not doing grounding work. They're not doing like cleansing work. They're not doing um, like shielding. It's like you kind of need to do all those things, especially if you're starting to explore the psychic world, you know. It's, it's not saying that, not that it's hard to do that, but it's like, you do need, there's things that come with it. You know what I mean? It's like, you can't just have the fun aspect of it. You need to be grounding and cleansing and shielding yourself and being mindful of the energy that you allow in your life as well. And I know it's difficult because like I said, I know that you're done with this person, but it's like, they're putting so much energy into pulling you back in. So you just, you do need to put those shields up. Um, especially if you're in like a low vibrational kind of depressed state right now, it makes it easier for people like this to tap in. So just be mindful of that. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. There's no one like you. I realize now I'm not going to be able to find a love like ours with someone else. Let's look into the new person though. Cause I know that you're over this. So like, just, you know, just take that advice. Um, if it resonates, but, um, but some of you have already done this. So like, like I said, some of you are already past this. So for those of you that are past this, I want to get to the rest of the reading. Um, what's going on with the new person? Show me the new person. Okay. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I look at your pictures often. So for some, this could be, for some, this is an old person's soul. For others, I feel like this is a, um, a new person where maybe things move too quickly, but they are like, you know, they just have a lot on their plate, but they're kind of stepping back and they're like, oh, like they're looking at your pictures. Like they are missing you, but let's, let's look just the new person, just the new person, just the new person. So your ex is like manipulative and kind of forceful. So it's like, I have to block them out too. You hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So yeah, it's like your spirit guide's kind of telling you, like, make sure that you 
Like it's time for you to take control of your life. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's time for you to take control of your life. I'm seeing that card that, um, it's like a unicorn card from the, the romance angels deck is popping into my head. Um, it's just time for you to take back control of your life. It's, um, you know, you hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. I almost feel like, I don't want to say someone that's like spiritually lazy, but it's like, and you're probably, you probably work a lot. You're probably tired. So I understand like, you're probably just like for your, like your psychic practices, you probably don't have a lot of energy for it, but it's just kind of saying like, like if you're like pulling cards, you need to cleanse the cards too. You need to kind of connect with them. Like you need to like your spirit guides just kind of want you to focus more on your spiritual psychic path. And I feel like for some of you, it's like out of balance. Like you're focusing more just on the physical or like on, you know, like your nine to five job or something of that sort. And it's kind of saying like, you know, like you hold the power to manifest this new person. You hold the power to, to cut and clear and release and block out this new part, this old person you know, like you're incredibly powerful, but I think that you're doubting, I think that you're doubting your power or you're just like depressed or you're exhausted or you're stressed out. And so you're not in your full power right now. And your spirit guides are just kind of saying like, you have the power to do all this, like stop doubting yourself. Like you have the power to cut out people that are negative. You have the power to protect yourself. You have the power to set boundaries and decide what you will and will not allow in your life. You have the power to manifest someone new that's not your usual type. Like you have the power to do all this, like, and you're doubting it. You're like, you're feeling like it's far, far away or like, you know, eventually you'll get there, but it's going to take a long time. Like you're just kind of questioning everything. And it's like, like you hold the key. You're able to do this. You just need to step into your power. I'm thinking about what you said. You're my best friend. I lied to you. I want to be your warrior, your your hero, your protector, your everything. You bring that side out of me. I really feel like this like new person is going to be that for you. I feel like you guys are going to have a close friendship too. Um, and there's something that you said or that you're going to say that they think they're going to be thinking about it. Um... Because I almost feel like you're giving your power away to the wrong things. Like you're giving it away to like a nine to five job or to stress or to these like like people that gaslight you or kind of take advantage or there's people there's just like some kind of weird energy around you that's kind of keeping you stagnant. Maybe it's like family members that are keeping you down. It's just that kind of energy where it's like if you take your power back, if you really learn to set boundaries and tell people no firmly, like not like not playfully, like, oh, I don't know about that. No, like sure of it. Like, because people that are toxic will manipulate you. Even if you say like, oh, I don't know, like maybe they're going to they're going to still see that as a yes. They're going to still try to break those boundaries. So you have to learn to say no firmly. And I really feel like you don't realize how powerful you are. Like you're when you start doing that, when you start taking control of your life and you, you cut out the toxic X, you protect yourself, you don't just sweep it under the rug, but you actually like focus on it. Like, like, you know, you know, taking all your power and all your reclaiming your energy from that person and from toxic friends or family members or, who, or karmics or whoever else as well, or coworkers or bosses. When you start setting those boundaries and like, I mean, claiming your power, you're going to be amazed how powerful you are. And you're going to be amazed at your ability to manifest things smoothly and easily. Like it's been hard because there's these people that are kind of like fighting for your attention or they're kind of like pulling at you and just taking, taking your energy from you. But it's like, if you, it's, it's almost like eight of swords energy where it's like, you have these chains on you, but you don't realize how easy it is to break free. It's like, it's like self-imposed imprisonment. Like the eight of swords traditionally is someone that has all these swords around them, but they have, um, their castle right in front of them that they can just walk right out and they can just go to that castle. But they're so focused on this, this sword, these swords, they don't realize there's an opening right here in front of their face. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like that with you. I feel like you're like looking at all these swords and it's like, you're not stuck though. Like you're, you're, it's the, these toxic people or these toxic situations or like nine to five jobs. And it's like, there's a way out. 
there's like a new career, there's new love, there's, you know, entrepreneurship, like, you know, maybe starting your own business, like all these things are waiting for you on the other side of fear. Um, but you need to take your, you need to take control of your life. I kind of feel like this is like the energy of someone that's like waiting for something to happen. Like you're kind of waiting for the next thing that like you're waiting for something to shift. And it's like, nothing is going to shift unless you make it shift. Like, some of you are like starting thinking about starting a new business, but it's like, you have to go out and make it happen. And you're going to have to be in that competitive energy. And I know it takes a lot of energy to do that, but it's like the world is your oyster and you're just, you're not recognizing it. It's like, you can, I'm not saying it's easy either. Like you might, you know, you might be stuck in a situation like a bad living situation or like a nine to five job that's draining you. So I get it, but your spirit guides at the same time are saying like, take control of your life, take your power back even if it's a little bit of a battle at times, like you can make that, that business happen. Like if you, you know, like if you want to start your own business, you can make that happen, but you got to start taking the steps now to do it. If you want that new love, you can make that happen, but you have to stop brushing the, the pain from the past under the rug and you need to face it and you need to clear that energy out and go out, go out and meet new people and manifest this new love. You know what I mean? Like you need to recognize your own power and reclaim that power. So that's the message I have for you. Um, if this resonates, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Uh, any donations are appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if this resonates with you.